Hey everyone, uh, today I'll go as a next part of series, uh, I'll go deeper into Inception which is very commonly used uh, in deep learning community. This is the work of uh, people in Google. It has pretty good neat tricks and I, I thought uh, these are uh, these I'll talk a little bit deep in uh, I'll talk a little bit detail into this and these some of these fundamentals would be useful are useful I've used them while working on it in variety of ways and I hope this will be uh, talking about the fundamentals would also help you when you work on these problems so let's let's start on this this is in in um, continuation to my first video so I'm not going to talk cover about uh, certain basic concepts around convolution how does an input image of a given dimension when applied with a certain filter gets converted to what size of output all of that i'm assuming is is, is known and i've already talked about it in a in certain uh, detail in my previous video so today the focus will be on talking more about the cost part of it how inception looks at this whole problem so I'll, I'll be spending a little bit more time on these areas so for uh, people who work on it they know that cost is one of the huge problem the kind of time it takes uh, for a training to finish the kind of hardware which is required uh, people do have access to TPUs and Google Cloud uh, servers but still it takes insane a lot of amount of time and the newer designs where a uh, lot of edge at the edge of the architecture the AI runs at least for the level one and then it sends the for detail analysis to the cloud cost still matters a lot uh, so it's important to understand what how the cost is actually uh, how can the how the how can the cost is actually looked at and what influences the cost of the design and uh, what are the ways to actually reduce the cost of a of a given design so uh, in our this slide what I, what is happening is there's an input volume of 28 by 28 and 192 channels the output volume is of certain size which is 28 by 28 and 32 in this case uh, typically a convolution of certain filter size would be applied and and you and the system would give you this kind of output the the whole uh, idea is are there ways to reduce this cost so let's take a simple one and then then we'll see what are the ways to reduce the cost if any so in this case to convert this uh, typical choice could be to take a 5 by 5 filter with same as a padding and 32 number of filters which means when filter gets uh, applied to this volume every multiplication is is leading to one computation cycle so number of computation cycles happening are 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 something like 28 by 28 which is height and width of the input volume times uh, 5 by 5 which is the filter matrix so every pixel getting multiplied with every pixel in 28 by 28 input matrix 192 such channels stacked one behind the other and as I said 32 filters have been taken in this example to give us this kind of output which so the cost is 120 million this is huge and the question is are there ways to reduce it yes fortunately yes and so let's let's look into it so one way to do is is instead of doing this whole thing in one by in one step with this kind of filter and that number 32 number of such filters what if if you break this into two parts part one where we just do a one by one convolution and probably part two where we do another convolution so we first reduce the number of channels by doing a one by one convolution and then with reduced volume apply the same filter maybe of the same size and get the same output but not apply the 5 by 5 convolution on such a big volume why not reduce the volume by applying five, 1 by 1 convolution so 1 by 1 convolutions are typically used to reduce the volume so height and width there are ways to reduce the height and width in a in a neural network by doing a max pool uh, 
where you take a typically take a maximum of a given value in a in a in a window in in a window depending on the pool size but there are but that does not work that does not helps reduce the number of channels uh, so what can be done to reduce the number of channels and one by one convolution is 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 where uh, you can actually reduce the number of channels so let's look at this two step way of doing it and then we'll compare it uh, the cost the new cost with the 120 million cost that we just saw so first step is reduce the number of volume and reduce it to size of 16 how do we do that apply a convolution of 1 by 1 by 1 with 192 channels but 16 such filters which gives us 28 by 28 into 16 uh, volume so 1 by 1 convolution is something like this if this is the input uh, matrix and this is the patch tiny 1 by 1 patch this patch gets multiplied to every pixel in in the row and then to the next row and to the next row and then there are 192 such channels in the pix in the in the input volume and also in the filter so one one uh, iteration gives you one pixel in the output vector and depending on number of filters you can stack the num outputs one behind the other so 16 filters means 16 such channels so that's step number 1 we have reduced the number of channels step number 2 is to go back to and and get the same output so we do a 5 by 5 now but with uh, and then 32 such Thirty two such filters because we want a thirty twenty eight by twenty eight thirty two volume. So this iteration gives us twenty eight by twenty eight thirty two such thing. Now let's look at the cost. The cost in this case from step number one is twenty eight by twenty eight, which comes from the input vector one ninety two channel, which is again from the input vector one by one, which is the convolution that we applied and sixteen filters we took. So step number one gives us two point four million uh, cost. step number 2 uh, gave us uh, 10 million as a cost 28 by 28 into 16 which is this 28 by 28 into 16 output from the step 1 into 5 by 5 into 32 and if you add both these things the overall cost this time is 12.4 which is almost uh, so 120 million was the cost in the previous step when we did the entire convolution 5 by 5 convolution on the same in, as is image versus this two step process so we have reduced the cost by almost 10 factor of 10 which is huge so this is one common inspiration used in deep neural networks to manage the computation cost there are few more like pooling and uh, dropping certain uh, neurons also has other advantages uh, so these are some of the tricks that uh, we all use to manage the overall cost now what google does is uh, in the inception is so as you can see there are so many so many uh, choices uh, what filter size to take how to reduce the uh, computation cost do i do uh, do i take just to make sure the accuracy is good and the computation cost is go also manageable should i start with 3 by 3 convolution should i start with 5 by 5 convolution should i do it in two step uh, should i do it in more than two steps so there are so many uh, possibilities the way google looks at this is and the way the work in the inception paper has been discussed uh, is to let machine do take care of all this and not human take these choices up front in the start of the design of the neural network so let why not take the same input image but let it go through one by one convolution in parallel 3 by 3 convolution in uh, as the other thing 5 by 5 convolution as the another possible parallel track and then also do a max pool to reduce it uh, so but one thing which 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 is important is to make sure the output volumes match in their dimensionality so each output volume for example will be of same height and width but the number of channels may vary and and, and as you can see uh, as you can see uh, in the diagram yeah just just a second as you can see in the diagram uh, output the 
output from different convolutions gave you so we took 64 different filters of one by one convolution which gave us 28 by 28 64 volume similarly 128 filters of three by three convolution similarly 32 filters of five by five convolution and this way we got a, a huge volume which is of 256 uh, channel and 28 height and width uh, so that's how google inception deals with this hyperparameter paradox problem let machine do with all possible combination and eventually we'll learn as we will do the training which convolution is working best for our kind of uh, use case so if you go deep into uh, this uh, for the next step this is the uh, and the paper is available on 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 inception you can you can download it so this is what you see on the left this is the uh, the overall high level network design uh, that uh, is available is shown in the is talked about in the paper one common thing it looks complex but but uh, there are things which which make it simple to understand so if you look at in this whole thing there are parts which are common for example this pattern is repeating uh, again and again so this pattern is repeating here then this pattern is again repeating here then this pattern is again repeating here so uh, what is happening inside this pattern is is if you if you magnify it it's the same so you start with an input you let machine run different convolutions in parallel of different sizes one by one five by five three by three and let it go through a pool pooling layer and this keeps on repeating uh, in the entire uh, thing so it's a multi-step process and in each step you let it let the machine um, do the convolu various convolutions keep try to keep on managing the height and width and number of channels through pooling and one by one convolutions and um, this whole thing works very well uh, pretty high accuracy in terms of uh, how it does there are iterations of inception which have been done so the first work of inception happened if i remember rightly somewhere around 2015 then since then uh, inception version 2 came and now inception version 3 is available so what and it's very good depending on what you're trying to train inception is generally advisable to be a starting point if not the entire thing and if your use case has certain uh, very specific things it's still beneficial if you take uh, the most of Ince what inception gives and if your use case is very specific then uh, just train the last layer just do a differential training on the last layer and not discard the entire stuff uh, so that way you can re still reuse uh, the inception training part for the initial uh, layers freeze it while you train it do a differential training and just replace do the transfer learning for the and i can talk a little bit more uh, in, in in my in my some of in one of my other video uh, on the transfer learning which is very important so just do that bit and that way it becomes a very good uh, quick start paper is easily a uh, paper is available on the network on the on the on the internet you can go through it. It, it has a lot of details around uh, the various filter choices that have been taken. And I've covered this for AlexNet in my previous thing. So uh, I think that way you can still, uh, it, sh it should be easy to read this paper then on now. And it talks about different layers, uh, what number of filters it has taken, and the kind of uh, parameters, the kind of uh, number of parameters at different steps and how many operations happen uh, on uh, in every step so i hope this was useful a lot of these uh, tricks and fundamentals will help are, are required when we work on production quality systems um, and training is is a huge problem so it's important to know these fundamentals and then tune it accordingly for the production use case that uh, one needs to do Thanks a lot. I hope you like this. Uh, do like the video. Thank you.